once again welcome to the second session of standard costing in this video i will explain material variances in detail it means which are the variances for material variances and how we can calculate all material variances it means which formula we will use to calculate material variances before the material variance first i will discuss the abbreviations which we will use in the material variances so sc is equal to standard cost sc is equal to actual cost sp standard price ap actual price sq standard quantity aq actual quantity rsq revised standard quantity tsq total standard quantity taq total actual quantity these are the short form we will use in material variances now material variances so first variance it is material cost variance mcv it is classified into two categories first material price variance mpv and second material usage variance MUV again there are three variances under material usage variance first material mix variance second material sub usage variance and third material yield variance now i will explain each variance in detail so first material cost variance it represents the difference between standard cost and actual cost of material if actual cost of material is more than the standard cost of material the variance is unfavorable it means negative if actual cost of material is lower than the standard material cost the variance is favorable it means positive material cost variance depends upon two important variables price and quantity of material used in actual production now second material price variance it is part of material cost variance it arises due to the difference between standard price and actual price of material if actual price of material is more than the standard price of material the variance is unfavorable it means negative if the actual price of material is lower than the standard price of material the variance is favorable it means positive now causes for material price variance price fluctuation loss of discount due to uneconomical purchase higher transportation cost failure to avail trade and cash discount unfavorable terms from suppliers inefficiency of purchase department and change in government policy like taxation if government change in tax policy then there may be change in the price of the raw material suppose when in the india government introduced the gst directly it is affect to the price of the raw material next third material usage variance it is also known as quantity variance it means material quantity variance it arises due to the difference between standard quantity and actual quantity of material if 
actual quantity of material is more than the standard quantity of material the variance is unfavorable or negative if actual quantity of material is lower than the standard quantity of material the variance is favorable it means positive now causes for material usage variance abnormal waste of material it means if the actual loss of material is more than the normal loss will be known as abnormal loss and if abnormal loss is there there may be a chance for the difference in standard quantity of material and actual quantity of material untrained workers obsolete technology it means outdated technology is there there may be chance for the more waste of raw material change in mix of different materials it means if there is any change in the ratio of mix of different types of raw material there may be chance for the more usage of raw material and change in design of product so these are the causes for material usage variance now i will explain the formula which we will use to calculate material variances first variance material cost variance mcv it is the difference between standard cost of material and actual cost of material so mcv is equal to sc minus ac if sc is not given in the example we can calculate by sq multiply sp and if actual cost of material is not given we can calculate it by aq multiply ap under the mcv two variances are there first material price variance so mpv is equal to aq into bracket sp minus ap so always we will reduce actual price from the standard price next material usage variance it is also known as material quantity variance so m u v is equal to sp into bracket sq minus aq so this is the quantity variance so actual quantity we have to reduce from the standard quantity and multiply by standard price the muv is the reasons for three variances number 1 material mix variance so there are two formula to calculate mmv first it is exactly same of muv it means sp into bracket sq minus aq the other formula of mmv is sp into bracket rsq minus aq now first formula we can use if total actual quantity and total standard quantity are same then second formula we can use if total actual quantity and total standard quantity are not equal it means if taq and tsq are not equal then and then we can calculate material mix variance if both are same then we can say muv is equal to mmv next variance material sub usage variance m s u v is equal to s p into bracket s q minus r s q so here we will use revised standard quantity and r s q we can reduce from s q and it is multiplied by standard price so we can calculate m s u v and the last variance material yield variance again there are two formula for the material yield variance first 
material invariance MYV is equal to SC per unit into bracket actual yield minus standard yield. Second formula MYV is equal to SC per unit into bracket actual yield minus revised standard yield. First formula we can use when total actual quantity and total standard quantity are equal. Second formula we can use when TAQ and TSQ are not equal. So here the actual yield means actual quantity and standard yield means standard quantity. Revised standard yield means revised standard quantity. Now how we can calculate RSQ which we will use in two formula MMV and also in the MSUV. So RSQ we can calculate by SQ multiply TAQ divided by TSQ which we have to calculate for individual raw material SC per unit. So how we can calculate SC per unit? So SC per unit is equal to total standard cost divided by net standard quantity. When we use the word net standard quantity always net standard quantity means standard quantity after loss. So if the percentage of waste is given we will reduce from the total standard quantity then the difference will be known as net standard quantity. Then we have to calculate actual yield is equal to net actual yield means net actual quantity is equal to total actual quantity minus actual loss and SY is equal to net standard yield we can calculate by total standard quantity minus standard loss. So these are the formula and variances for material. So thank you very much for watching this video. We will again meet in the next video with the practical example of material variances.